Hello, hello, everyone. How are you doing this evening? Hope you're having an amazing evening. So sorry that we're 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 late. I know, but I just kind of kind of just had this great idea that um, since we're always speaking about traveling and motivation and doing what's best for you and what makes you happy and makes you generate positive energy, then I realized, hey, I have two people here in the jungles of energy to live that are like a perfect example of this. So it's my pleasure that they said <laughs> yes to this interview. And um, I hope that they can give you great motivation to do what it is that you love. So Katie and Terry, how are you guys? We're good. good thank you. Good, good. good. <laughs> First time in camera? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you seem, you seem really, really relaxed. I try. think you're yeah. trying <laughs> a little. How's the jungle so far? It's been good, it's good, been good. Hot. Huh? You guys got a little rain. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, cenotes. Amazing. Amazing. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And really how long nice. have you been in Mexico? Two, three weeks. Two, three weeks. Almost. Yeah. Three weeks. See, that's all you need. It's three weeks to get that tan. All right. <laughs> okay. So let's. Um. I was really inspired by seeing you guys so lovey dovey. How long have you been together? Three years. Three years. Yeah. So this beautiful couple next to me is always kissing, hugging, holding hands. Like it's their first date. I think that's the number one thing that people usually lose. So bravo for that. <laughs> and um, how long have you been traveling for? We left in August last year. So we've been away for about nine months now. Nine months. And where are you from? From England. <laughs> from England. Okay. So which part of England? A uh, place called Exeter. It's Exeter. a small town. Southwest. Yeah. So look the leg part of the UK. Small town? Like how small? Like, like 200,000 people. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's Smallish. not so bad. Smallish. And you guys met there in work or? No, no we met in London. Oh, you met in London. Uh, yeah. Boat party down the Thames. Nice. Yeah. Pro boat parties are nice, you guys. <laughs> and um, what, what did you do before you traveled? Because obviously traveling for almost a year, you have to have some time off. Yeah. yeah. I was a safety, health and safety inspector. Okay. Oh, you were an inspector. Intense. Were you like, were you, did you actually like act like, you know, yeah. mean wise? You no, know? I, I was there to support. I was nice. Okay. You, you were a nice inspector. I don't think I've ever met a nice inspector. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hard to say no to her though. <laughs> How would you say this is, this is wrong. You have to fix it like in a mean way or, you know, like a, like a, bad sandwich so you have something like good bad good right like yeah, you can yeah. improve yeah bad. yeah always a positive and kind of that you need to sort x y and z out I, I like that that's amazing and what did you do i was a production manager uh okay. kitchen manufacturers okay so sounds like fun was it is working in a factory okay. <laughs> a bunch of people, so. oh but you had but you were managing people yeah. Ooh, that must be stressful it was okay how many years I worked there for about 15 years. That's a long time. Yeah. 15 years. And how can I, can we ask how old you're now? I'm 41. Okay. 15 years. That's like half a life. Wow. Okay. And what, how did this happen that you just decided, you know what, um, we need to travel. We need to leave our jobs and our families and I go think somewhere. for me it was COVID. One COVID okay. Hit, yeah. And I was, I was still going into work and most people were furloughed and I was going in every day and I was working, working and I was like, you know, I've been doing this so long. Like, why, why am I doing it? I need right. some enjoyment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You told I me you didn't have any windows. Did you yeah. have windows? There's no windows. Could, no. could you imagine working in a place where you have no windows? I think I would go mad. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you can see. <laughs> we have a lot of windows here. It's far from this paradise. Yeah. Wow. Um, but did you enjoy it while you were doing it at least? Or I no, it was even? Okay, yeah. It was it okay. Was a job, you know. Did you I, feel like miserable when you got home? Yeah. Yeah. Sunday nights. That was it, miserable. Kind of, the thought of five days of it again before a weekend. Okay, and the weekends, maybe no sun in England? No. Hit or miss. Sometimes, sometimes yeah. not. Oh, man. So did you come about to brighten the day, maybe? Made the job not so bad? Not so bad. I tried. Absolutely. I tried. And that's kind of how the discussion went, wasn't it? We can make more money, but we can't make more time. So we uh -huh. have to make as many memories and travel and adventures yeah. and where was the first well first of all how did you tell your bosses was it just like hey dude like i'm done like after 15 years i don't yeah that was like, it three months notice yeah. i just gave it in out of the blue nice I was like, I'm, I'm out of here yeah. well three months you had time to meditate it and you too i had to give in three months as well um and i explained i was going traveling and, and i understood if my position wasn't there when i came back kind of thing right but, yeah we were both prepared to take the jump and yeah. love it every minute i love it so how long did you stay for 
Um, we saved her about a year and a half. Uh, oh, you were really planning for this. Caravan. <laughs> no way. Friend's driveway at his house, just so we had no bills, so we could just save everything we smart, determined. You really knew what you wanted. How did your friend feel about this? <laughs> yeah. yeah. They got a bit of extra money. And we... Yeah. It's like you were really close neighbors. Yeah. 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 It's like, hi, good morning. Hi, good yeah. evening. No, with the neighbors, like when you. Right. <laughs> oh, man. Um, how do you feel working in a job like that actually affected your emotions and your health, maybe? Uh, yeah, it did massively. I think when I get back, I'll be looking for a job that's outside. Okay. I don't want to be in one building working 40 hours every week. I want to be out and about seeing real people. You know, I saw the same sort of 30 people every day. The same faces. 20 years or 15 years or whatever. And it's well. just like... Yeah, I see these people more than my actual friends and family. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I need to see in real life more. I think. Hey, look, where, where do you think it came from? Like that thrust to actually say, "Screw it, let's just do oh, this and go out." There. Yeah, <laughs> you just needed Literally, to find your partner. <laughs> one night, we were, yeah, we were camping. <laughs> it was a drunken conversation at night, and we were saying, "Could we either buy a place or could we go traveling?" And we managed to eventually do both. Yeah. Just nice. Hard work, saving, and just the drive to want to get out there. See, that's why we're always talking about the power of positivity. And when two positive energies actually get together, you can do so much. So see, nothing is impossible, you guys. From working a really long a day job to actually, you know what, let's just do this. I think so many people are scared. Yeah. Like, yeah. were you scared when you... Yeah. Left everything um, behind. No, not no, really. not, <laughs> you're like ready. Yeah, I, I think um, the main thing was just setting some goals. Like yeah. set goals and you'll hit goals. You don't set goals, you sort of wonder. Before right. We left. We set ourselves a little bucket list of fifty-two things because we knew we'd be gone for at least a year. Fifty-two things yeah. is a lot. It's a long bucket list. <laughs> um, <laughs> but nice. Yeah, we've almost. Done. How many do you have left? Uh, we've got three on the original list. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. List as well. Nice. Okay. Do you, do you remember the first one? First thing on the bucket list. Oh my god! No, that has to that has to be like the number one thing. <laughs> okay, the most memorable one, maybe. Oh, I'm trying to think. No, we've got so many. How do you forget your bucket list? <laughs> ten of them were like ten. Yeah, ten, ten, ten monkey masks. Ten monkey photos. Okay, and it was like do ten silly mini yeah. girls and okay, like. Uh, we had to do one where we had to find another Katie and a Terry. So all night yeah. we were like... Did you? Yeah. yeah we no way. <laughs> were, were they together or like random people? <laughs> they were separate. Okay. Well... And what did you do? Like... We got a selfie. Yeah. Oh, nice. I mean, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, didn't you feel like your mind just started, kind of maybe started expanding a little bit more when you went out of your town? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Like... 100%. I think travel is the most important thing in the world. To just see in the world, see new people, new cultures, just everything. You know, it's just it's really important. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. There's more out there, you guys. Guys, we're live. Do you have windows? Yes, we have a lot of windows. But if you guys have any questions, if you guys want to have uh, even like a tip, if you're thinking of doing something like this, then yeah, please come ahead and ask. And it's only going to be in English today. I'm sorry. We usually sorry. do Spanglish. <laughs> <laughs> in Spanish. Although, you know, AI is coming out and now they're going to be translating live. How crazy is that? How do you feel about AI? Uh, oh, it's, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's intense. It's intense when you don't know the full potential. But yeah. Would you have a robot? Yeah. No? I don't know. No. What if it's it did all the cleaning and cooking and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's where it always goes. Yeah. Maybe that maybe <laughs> okay let's go back to your travels where was the first thing you left london where was the first place that you went to hong kong hong okay okay yeah that, okay that's that wasn't the place i was expecting <laughs> interesting i thought like some island or something <laughs> hong kong why yeah. um it was uh, probably sort of halfway yeah. around the world for us to okay. get to the other yeah. points that we wanted to go to and we got cheap flights there yeah that's also okay. been done like Money or by cheap flights, like, yeah 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 like, the cheapest will go first Nice. Spent a lot of time researching flights. Yeah. And do you, how do you pick a place where you're going to stay? Like, was it just random or did you really look out? Was it on a budget as well? Or did you yeah. go all out in some other places? Oh, yeah, first place yeah. in Hong Kong. Some I think places. Set the lesson for us doing that. Yes. Well, how was that? <laughs> So, I've never been to Hong Kong. <laughs> the worst, the worst, the worst, hotel, the worst hotel we had in the whole trip was the yeah. first one we had. And we got okay. after whatever, 13 hour flight, yeah. and we were like, wow, what's this? It was a jail cell with a single bed. 
and that was it. No windows, and we were in there. It was a jail cell. Okay. Kind of and like a masseuse mattress, so it's about wafer thin. Yeah. And... Was it a twin? Ish. <laughs> you, you, you were really together then. <laughs> and how many nights was it there? It's meant to be five. Yeah, it's meant to be five. You left one. You left before? Okay. So always follow the reviews would be tip number one. Yeah, good luck now. No, really what way. about the next one? Did you have to make some changes after that one? I think we did all right after yeah. that for a okay. while. We've had sort of three or four hostels where we've left early. I mean, we've tried to mix it up with really cheap hostels and then really nice places to stay. Yeah. We can't yeah. afford hotels, like really nice hotels the whole stay. But I think it's, I think that's good though. I mean, even if you could afford it, like you want to live both kind of yeah. lives, right? To appreciate both lives. I don't know. And you meet, um, Fun people traveling when you yeah. stay in hostels. That's where the backpackers are. That's where people who are like going around the world, seeing the world, are staying. Yeah. When you actually get chatting to people. Yeah. yeah. And by the way, most backpackers uh, leave with nothing. <laughs> so we we host uh, several in World Packers. If you guys ever think of visiting us as well, and um, yeah, some people just say I just have ten dollars in my pocket and I just need a place to you know sleep and eat, and they're off to find a job and they do remote stuff. So I think you guys really planned it. Yeah. Amazing yeah. for what you're telling me. So tell me about the monkey face. When did this come about? That was one of our top yeah. ten. That was a Christmas. It's Christmas and New Year's. Uh, okay. Uh, people yeah. said it like on these stands and all sorts of junk. And I was like, look, they've got a monkey mask for like $2. And I was wondering, <laughs> cents, we're never going to use that. And I thought, challenge accepted. No. And we tried this mask. <laughs> We've got the most ridiculous photos with this yeah. monkey mask all over the world. Does it have a name? Doesn't no. actually. No, we need to ego. So I have to see it again. Yeah. You should. You should have brought it. Well, it's it's very hot <laughs> monkey mask. <laughs> so, but I think it. You, you got to add some fun to photos and videos and, um, yeah. It's fun to have some masks around. What about when you go to the airport? Like, do they ever just kind of like no, you travel yeah. with your own ping pong ball? Yeah. <laughs> I thought, I thought that was like hats off. Like, who does that? I'm like, guys, I forgot the ping. Oh, we got one. Like, <laughs> we got a full bag of them. Yeah, <laughs> really. That's the crazy thing. We've got one suitcase between the two of us, so we've got. 23 kilos about 50 pounds or so is okay. the ratio between the two of us half of that was christmas decorations halloween and yeah. <laughs> point for where though you could just buy stuff cheaper like in <laughs> dubai no sorry not dubai <laughs> i can imagine in thailand things are way cheaper <laughs> Interesting. Do you still have those things in your suitcase? Yeah, no. no. Okay. Oh, room looked good. At good. Time. Good. I think that's good. At least you didn't feel homesick. Yeah. yeah. And how was your family? Uh, how did they feel about all this? Did they miss you? Yeah, they they miss us. Yeah. yeah. We like, try and face come back. we can, but they're they're happy for us. Yeah, you know, of course. I think it's one of those things where they're kind of like, well, if you don't do it, when will you? Yeah. yeah. And, and you'll always regret it. Yeah. It's always the thing that I wanted to do, but I never had the chance. So you're like, okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. Amazing. I'll do it. I love it. <laughs> Hi, Jenny and friends. Hi, Ricardos. Welcome, guys. <laughs> welcome, welcome. If, by the way, if you have questions about travel, uh, let us know. Uh, welcome to your beautiful guest in the energetical paradise of the world. <laughs> Greetings from Brazil. Obrigado. <laughs> Beijos. Um, where do you think has been your most memorable, memorable spot? I know it's hard. Oh. Um, you could pick. You could pick a few. I really enjoyed uh, uh, Bali. They okay. have these islands called the Gili Islands, which is sort of, uh, a couple hours on a ferry, and you could sort of run around the whole island in about an hour. And there's no cars. It's did all, you? Um, I did we, once. We yeah. You did run. Yeah. He ran. He said, yeah. You cycled and he ran next to you. Okay. I'm like. <laughs> Yeah, bikes and of course, um, yeah. drawn carts, but we no. just cycled everything, and it's just an amazing island in the middle of nowhere. It was nice, brilliant. yeah. And pe obviously, they live out of tourism 100%, yeah, yeah. right? Or fishing, maybe? Uh, I think just tourism, just, just tourism, sort of scuba, yeah. a lot of um, diving. A lot of, nice, uh, you get your pad eye there, kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. Nice, did you dive? I didn't. No, you snorkeled. Oh, Have you dived ever? Yeah, he looks like a diver. No, yeah, we went out on New Year's Eve. Everything was good. The next morning, I thought, I feel surprisingly all right. So I'll go out for a run. And I was out running and the pavement cracked and I pulled some ligaments in my ankle. Ow. So Wait, we, this was in the island? This, no, this is on mainland Bali. Okay. Yeah. So we had to extend our stay in our hotel for two weeks. I couldn't leave the bed. 
And I could not walk for about eight weeks properly, so I not yeah, the yeah, yeah. start of the year, but well, happens. maybe it meant something. You never yeah. know. You know. Maybe you had to stay there for a little longer, <laughs> postpone. And what do you think has been the? Well, that was a down, I guess. Yeah. The ups were the place was amazing, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, the hardest thing you had to go through in the trip. Um, probably repacking the case each time. <laughs> Honestly, it seems the grow. I was thinking of like something dramatic, you know, like, but I think the ankle did it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there hasn't been anything really bad. Like, no. I mean, we got Good. stuck in Hong Kong actually because we of a typhoon. Yeah, typhoon. Yeah, typhoon. So we weren't allowed to leave the hotel. So that was intense. And, uh, the bad hotel? No, luckily. Oh, the other. <laughs> <laughs> Hong Kong just got some really bad points tonight. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> just don't go to cheap hotels or, or read the reviews. Typhoons, that's scary. We had to have our flight got pushed back by yeah. three days because there was no flights leaving or anything. But yeah. Okay. And how is Hong Kong? Is it expensive, cheap? Is it medium? I, I think it's just a regular place. Yeah, regular? I mean, some places we've been have been mega expensive, like Singapore. That's Singapore is really expensive? Yeah. yeah. Huh, okay. And then some places like Bali, it's just crazy cheap. You buy like, meals and drinks for like next to nothing. Mm. Like we could both eat for about yeah. three US dollars. What? Yeah. yeah. Like a full meal with yeah. drinks and everything. Full meal, yeah. That's why people are moving, right? Like, like you can have a really luxurious life in Bali for three hundred dollars a month or something. That's picturesque. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> So do you guys, are you, uh, do, do you do like Instagram and social media like everybody else or no? Not really. Little. Just like our own personal I, Instagram. Yeah. I, I kind of figured, I'm like, I don't feel like, <laughs> I don't like social media myself. So, <laughs> okay. So I see that you take a lot of pictures. That's why I was asking. Yeah. I'm like, but yeah. it's for your own documentation. I yeah. guess you could say. Okay. Yeah. I love I it. it. And we like to print out our yeah. photos and whatnot and nice. decorate our walls. <laughs> now, how do you, how has it been traveling and being together 24 seven? It's been great. Yeah. Yeah. See? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. So some people might say that you never really get to know your couple fully because most people are at work yeah. all day. Yeah. So how many hours did you see each other before you started traveling? Oh, God. That was just I in mean, the evening. Yeah. A little I mean, bit. Because we were in the caravan as well before yeah. we went traveling. Mm -hmm. Together. Yeah. <laughs> we did a lot of close yeah. time before. You've got to think that space is smaller than some of the rooms we stayed in. That was like the definition, like we're either going to do this or... That was the tester. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. And you said you were able to... to Save money and buy a house also? Yeah. Amazing. So that's waiting home. Smart. Very smart. Yeah. Oh, you did plan it all. <laughs> Lots of spreadsheets in the background. Just spreadsheets. <laughs> <laughs> you do. That's that's the fifth that's the fifty two yeah. right? <laughs> points. You're the one that did it. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> She's like, yeah. <laughs> so who picks the hotels when you go out? Um, oh, it's a mixture. Together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's a, it's a joint effort. Do you both like the same type or? Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, it would just be a case of you might have found, oh, there's like a rock night on and we're going to go here or this place is near to this like excursion that I want to do and we just yeah. tie it all in. Yeah. It's a, it's a joint effort. Yeah. I, I love that. They actually brought me back to like my teen years because they were playing like some 41. <laughs> which I don't think I've heard <laughs> since I left high school. So um, thank you for that. That, sure, that was yeah. beautiful. It's and okay. it actually, yeah, I'm like, why, why didn't I listen to that? It's, it's uplifting. Some we of it might be a little lot. heavy, you yeah. know, but <laughs> for the most, what, what, do you, um, what do you look for in music? Like, do you look for it to actually pump uh, you up? or Just punk music. I'm into punk rock music. So that's you only cool. listen to punk rock music? I listen to country music, that's pretty much. Country, that's, yeah. a, that's a big difference. It is, yeah. <laughs> Country, no, so no music from like England? Do they have punk rock in England? Oh, no? yeah. 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 It's not as big as, I guess, the States kind of thing. But. That would be like a, I, I would, I mean, I've never heard of punk rock in England, but I would figure that it, it would sound kind of funny because of the British accent. So perfect. And it's like, punk is usually very slangish. Yeah. So how would it come out? Back in the day. The <laughs> Did it? Yeah, yeah back, back See? Years I, back. When I wasn't alive, <laughs> <laughs> I gotta look for it. Jenny, this sounds uh, acting up. Ah, sorry. Yeah, my microphone is a little weird, but thanks for letting me know. Uh, boat, boat tours and adventures. When have you done any boat tours? Boat mm. tours, as in like snorkeling or yeah. like yeah, a boat boat tour. Uh, we did a world tour. Jellyfish. 
You did it, did you do it well? I've heard that's like the best place to... They're incredible. That's one of my top three travel moments. Of all nice. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. It was incredible. Once you got in the water and you're just like, oh. it's like, super clear, yeah. right? Like crystal clear. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. A place that you would say don't go and a place that you would say you can't die before visiting. Yeah. Pretty much. Which one? Oh, that one? <laughs> <laughs> don't go. I wasn't a massive fan of like, uh, I'd say, I don't know. Maybe no, Cambodia was probably Cambodia? Cambodia? Why? Um, there just wasn't a lot going on, and you yeah. were particularly safe it wasn't walking around. Safe as, so. Oh, okay. It wasn't as welcoming. So, yeah. like Bali, Thailand, Vietnam, all the locals, even if uh, they can't speak any English at all, they still want to engage with you, talk to you, and whatnot. But Cambodia was a little bit more of a hard, hard shoulder. Like, they, they didn't really try to help out or communicate no. at all. Yeah. We did do one excursion, which was really good, and we met some like local kids, which were really sweet, and we played football with them and whatnot. Um, you made friends with kids. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Innocence, <laughs> good. <laughs> but um, yeah, Cambodia is probably one place yeah. we wouldn't. If we were to do this again, we probably wouldn't put it on our. Um, okay, projects. so to keep that in mind, maybe skip Cambodia, guys. <laughs> well, it might have been the area that we went yeah. to. Like, yeah, because we didn't really move around there because we were there for such a short time, so it might be. Just the area that we're in. Okay. And a place that you would say to them, you got to go there before you die, <laughs> or you haven't lived yet. I left Australia. <laughs> Australia. Australia. Okay. Uh, Singapore. It was expensive, but a great place. Singapore. Yeah, Thailand. Fantastic. Thailand. Yeah. We traveled a lot around Thailand, and it was all just amazing. What part was your favorite one? I like the islands. There was uh, Koh Phangan and Koh Samui. Okay. Yeah. How's that? Oh, Everybody's really dancing out yeah. of like... Yeah, like where you let go and let loose. So many people on a beach, and you've got all the lights and the fireworks and the fire dances. Nice, it's fantastic. Nice. Any spiritual experiences that you might have had in those kind of places that you would say, like, whoa, like this was? I don't know. I would think of like Thailand or something. Like I don't know something. Um, I was going to say, where was the Batu Cave? Was that? That was in Kuala Lumpur. Kuala Lumpur, yeah. The Batu Cave. That was. Like strong. That sort of took you back a little bit because um, you had to make sure you covered up and all that. And you've oh, got rain- you've got the rainbow steps leading up, and then you've got this that's the opposite from a spiritual. Come on, <laughs> that's like censored. <laughs> but it's different in the sense of once you get up there, you've got this sort of two hundred foot golden statue, and nice. you've got kind of all the shrines called? and everything going on, and similar to like the snowstorm that we went to this morning, where you've got all the stalactites yeah. and you've got the bats. It was yeah. Nice. Yeah, picturesque. Did you see any monks on the way? Yeah, there was. You did? Around, yeah. Yeah, nice. Were they barefoot? Walking up roof? That. <laughs> <laughs> that was a long time ago. <laughs> so it's only been a couple of months. Do you have it figured out? You have a couple more months to go, right? Yeah. Okay. We got the rest of penciled in where we're going. Okay. And then back to reality. And then back to reality. Are you ready? Probably, to be fair. Yeah, yeah. enough yeah. traveling. Right <laughs> sort of, well, at least you were having, you know, good experiences. Yeah. So you're definitely going to look for something outdoors. So, guys, yeah. if you're hiring, okay. And, <laughs> and what are you going to look for? What do you think? Uh, just something that you go home and you still feel happy, kind of thing. Yes. And you're happy about waking up in the morning and going back into it again. So. Yeah. You know, you're, I, I always tell them, your job is... 80% of your life yeah. basically yeah. because you're there so long or even if you do it from home so if you don't like it it's like you're generating the grudge against yourself yeah. for the longest yeah. time definitely yeah. I mean it just wears you down you can't be happy in your life if you're not happy in your job this is what yeah. I learned from once away so, so I think when I go back, back I definitely won't be managing other people that's for sure and I'd like to say it's not something that I don't mind going to I don't yeah. want to cry every Sunday night at the four or five days of work <laughs> I can't see you crying you did? No, no I wasn't far <laughs> You either live to work or you work to live, so yeah. you yeah. decide which, which angle you want to go for. And just, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah just money has to work your way, yeah. you know? So, uh, well, at least you realized that before it was too late. Or, well, I don't think it's ever too late, you guys. You can do it at any time. But at the same time, you're young enough to still do all these yeah. crazy yeah. experiences. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and would you do it again? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. 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 So maybe another year to save up and then let's go, baby. <laughs> We'll see. Watch this space. Yeah. yeah. Or a little more. You're, yeah. Or maybe settle down 
family? Have you thought about? Uh, no. Yeah, no. You're kids. both very <laughs> legit about this. Okay. We don't want kids. Okay. I, I respect that. I feel the same. So you know, yeah. there's this whole generation now that actually doesn't want kids, and I feel it's not for everyone. If you love it, great. I think you just kind of have those yearnings of being a mother, or you yeah. don't. Yeah. And if you don't, then yeah. traveling yeah. will call. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. So you rather live for yourself. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it's wrong. You get looked down on sometimes for not wanting kids. It's. I think it's silly. It silly. I mean, I don't think it should be. What, what do you think about like the? Oh, like the, it's going to be depopulated if we stop having babies. And apparently, it's going. World, it's going that way. Apparently, so Elon Musk, you're wrong. It's not going to happen. It, there's not a crisis no. of less birth rate. I guess. Yeah, fine. Any fine. pets? Yeah. Um, We were talking about yeah. this, but I think because we still want to travel, we yeah. probably yeah. won't unless it's something. Not for a while. <laughs> Or it just happens. Friends, <laughs> right? <laughs> Take my dog for like a year. I'll be back. <laughs> but, um, yeah, probably not because we still we like our little weekend breaks away and whatnot yeah. whenever we nice. can, sort of thing. Where can you go? Like around in where you live in England? Like uh, we we live in one of the most picturesque places. In England. Yeah, it's got really nice beaches. So if you get the good weather, we can just go down. Like we can get okay. to the beach in about ten minutes, and the beaches are nice. And they're not Mexico nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they're really nice. <laughs> well, I don't know what a beach in England. I need to travel more. <laughs> it's like when you find a little paradise, you just kind of like I don't want to leave. But yeah, you're right. There's a lot more paradise. Is what. I'm like. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, anything that you would. Want Want to recommend for those couples that maybe were in the same position as yours before? Um, I think just don't be scared. If you yeah. if you get the idea to do it, just jump and do it. I mean, what's stopping you? Yeah, just have those conversations and just see if it's something that you both want to do, and you'll make it work. You'll make it work. <laughs> We're gonna smile. I love it. <laughs> right. Oh, and the last last but not least, for those relationships and those couples that are together, what's the secret? What's the secret sauce to make it work? Um, there isn't one. Just yeah, just have an event. Right meeting the right yeah. person. If you're not with the right person, then don't be in a relationship. Yeah. Meet the right person and just keep having adventures together. Yeah. Have fun. Yeah. So simple. I love it. Yeah, absolutely. See, it, is, it doesn't take much, you guys. All you have to do is do it. There's nothing yeah. stopping you. Just yourself, basically. So I think that you're amazing. I think that I hope that a lot of people follow your lead because there are so many of Katie and Terry's in the world that are just kind of like scared to move forward. And I, and I think that this trip definitely is going to enrich you more, even more, the more you do it. Yeah, so definitely. you're going to be back and you're going to be back. Yeah. More than ever. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, say hi to Miami TV guys. Hi guys. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. All right, my loves, we will see you next time. Have an amazing weekend. And if it doesn't rain tonight, we will be going to Straw Hat live uh, in Tulum. So um, I guess we just got to cross our fingers. Good weather. And tonight was just about positivity and for you guys to get, um, let's say, another point of view than just mine all the time. And see, people are positive and people are doing what they love. And that's what you need to be doing all the time. See you next time. Thanks for being with us, guys. No Big kisses. No Good night. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.